Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. I just felt like adding that fun little intro, but happy 2022. I'm sure some of you thought I wasn't coming back, but no, just took a holiday break for Christmas and New Year's to spend with the family, but I have been dying to get back to work. 2021 was nothing but disinformation, nonsense Pentagon reports that told us nothing, and a lot of other things that I really think hurt the community rather than help it, so I'm going to do my best this year to give you guys regular daily videos or at least semi-daily and well I'm just happy to be back so hope you had a safe new year thanks to the viewer who created that cool uh, cartoon like 2022 pick for me so I've been gathering up a lot of info that you're going to be seeing across the next couple of videos so let's start with a piece of UFO footage that perfectly coincides with the start of the new year reported by the mirror and others was a triangular UFO with quote cloaking abilities that was seen on New Year's Eve this year. And it was discovered or posted by a UFO enthusiast, it says, named Vault Team 6. Hmm, that sounds kind of like a familiar name. I, I, I can't quite place it, but yeah, Vault Team 6 spotted three lights floating in a triangle formation over Columbus, Ohio. Something that is also strangely familiar, seeing as that Columbus, Ohio is my hometown and the place I was born. But nonetheless, let's see this amazing footage. Okay, so there's no audio to this, so we'll just kind of uh, check it out here. At first, it starts on auto, so I had to set the resolution to 720p at the highest, where it then goes to a much clearer view. And as you're watching these clips here of an obvious formation of three lights moving through the sky in a perfect shape and formation, none of the lights move, uh, one would call a TR-3B, which is the subject of the documentary film I was just a part of, which, by the way, is now out for rent on Amazon, iTunes, and all streaming platforms. So to start off the new year with an amazing piece of footage like this, and you just see this thing eerily creeping from behind the trees here, and it slowly moves through the sky before disappearing off of this uh, surveillance camera. And so, yeah, big ups to Vault Team 6 from Secure Team 10. That's, that's pretty crazy, especially it's also from Columbus, Ohio. If any of my fellow Buckeyes are out there and you saw something similar, you know, post a comment down below or send me your footage. Really cool stuff to start out the new year with. I'm telling you guys, these silent triangles or TR3Bs, whatever you want to call them, they are out there. And if you want to learn more about them, just Google it or check out the new documentary, Rise of the TR3B. Now onto this next bit of UFO strangeness, let's head over to Google Earth, where like many millions of people have done in the past, uh, people will get on Google Earth and scan these satellite images uh, both from the sky above and the ground and uh, one of my most popular videos was uh, something along the lines of top 10 mysterious findings on Google Earth and so apparently uh, this gentleman had noticed while moving through a neighborhood a very strange object sitting in the sky that looks to be of a metallic unknown nature and as he would go forwards or backwards down the street, the object would disappear or would seem to be covered over by the software with clouds, possibly attempting to obfuscate the object. But as you're seeing here, it's really strange. It almost has a, sort of a, a triangular shape at times. Uh, it, at some points, it looks like it has some sort of lettering on it or engravings or pipes or mechanical things. I just don't know. And here, as he's pointing up towards the sun, you can see the object and the sunlight actually reflecting off of the top of this thing and the, you know, the bottom of it in shadow. So it, it looks definitely to be a solid object. Here we have another shot of this object peeking out through the clouds. It's like Google likes to cover things up. Now, I, I do realize that they do have to stitch images together, but the fact that we couldn't get one single clear image of whatever this object was makes me kind of wonder. And so as he went up and down the road, the object would then vanish and then reappear again. So very interesting finding. Here at the very end, uh, I have no idea 
it's reflective we can see sunlight glinting off of the end of it so that makes me think metallic and again there seems to be some sort of i don't know hieroglyphs or piping or mechanics on the outside of this thing so just add it to the many mysterious things discovered on Google Earth. And if you head over to my channel, go to my videos section where it lists all of my videos and there's a little search box and you can type in the words Google Earth and you'll see those videos I made back in the day of some of the most mind-blowing and strange things ever discovered uh, using the software. So now on to a UFO sighting that somehow snuck past me and I had never seen this before. Uh, here we are on a news website published in 2020 called UFOs Spotted in the Skies Above Southampton. So this is overseas. And I noticed in the photograph the first UFO image of this sort of upside down triangle I had recently done a video on. But I was very intrigued with these other objects to the left that I had never seen before, specifically this one on the top here. And so scrolling down, apparently this image was taken way back in 2007. Uh, it was taken by, quote, an astonished onlooker who asked not to be named for fear of being ridiculed. And we'll go ahead and show you the images while I read here. It continues, quote, the person who was with his family in Iple at the time spotted the mysterious object circling above the trees in the new forest in broad daylight. He told the news outlet he snapped the picture moments before the strange contraption, as he called it, vanished into thin air. So you saw the first shot, and they're not very good resolution. They're the largest, best I could find. First, we have the zoomed out, which doesn't really show much. But as we go up to, I guess, maybe a second shot where he had zoomed in on his digital camera, we get a look at, at something that just, I don't know, it gives me a shiver. It, it reminds me of like a, a spider or something. You know, it gives me the creepy crawlies looking at this thing. It's your typical sort of 1950s era saucer mixed with some sort of new age, I don't know what, on the bottom with these protruding arms or legs or whatever you want to call them sticking out of the bottom and perfectly circling around the entire bottom of the craft. Uh, and it's just creepy to look at. I had never seen it before. I was amazed. And so I wanted to share it with you guys who uh, may have not seen it either. So anyone over in the UK or, you know, Scotland, Ireland, have you seen something like this before? I want to get more information on anyone that's seen an object that looks like this. So now before we get to our last piece of UFO footage in this video, I want to cover quickly this story that I, I briefly spoke about on social media. And so if you remember a couple of videos back and, and I used it as the thumbnail, I spoke about this new android robot that has been created and is in the making that is said to have the most human-like features and movements of any robot ever made. And in that video, you know, we, we kind of went over it and how creepy and lifelike this thing looked. You're seeing that original video here where it kind of wakes up and looks around. Well, Mr. Creepy Android was back in the news recently after apparently grabbing the hand of one of its researchers or programmers. Uh, they were doing a test sort of pointing their finger to and away from the, the uh, robot's nose, where suddenly the robot gets this sort of sinister look. It's like almost an angry look on its face and grabs the researcher's arm, pulling it away from the robot's face. There were news reports about it. Uh, here's one. This is even starting to freak us out. The robot named Amica responds to human waving finger in its face. And you're seeing that video here where they were conducting this inner interaction test. However, from some of the articles, the early articles that came out, when pointing the finger at the robot's nose or the android's nose, the programmers had not programmed it to react that way, had not programmed it to look angry as if it's, quote, personal space had been invaded, as many of the news stories had stated. It had angered the android that this person was pointing its finger and it reacted shocking the programmers and the researchers i mean look at this face this this angry evil looking face almost as if the android just it becomes almost human for a moment and then after he releases the programmer's hand 
we see him like stop and then look up his eyes widen and he goes back to this puppy dog face like you know hi i'm a robot you know nothing sinister going on here god look at those eyes i've seen those eyes somewhere before but uh that's where we're heading folks that's where we are heading those 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 evil eyes man they haunt me so Lastly today, I want to show you a piece of UFO footage captured over Cincinnati, Ohio of another one of these formations of lines of three or four or five lights that are usually in a straight line and have been seen lately all over the world and that will vanish and reappear in the sky. Like they were in like a triangle formation? Yeah. And now they're gone. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know. Excuse my language. What the... Whoever we send this to, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, they were there. And I got, like, and now they're back. See, I looked earlier and I thought I saw, like, an airplane. Yeah. I thought it was an airplane. And there there's, it is yeah, there's another one. I mean, I think, I don't know what that is. Yeah, so I thought that was. Okay, so here is the zoomed out version. You just saw the zoomed in, and I've added some contrast enhancement here so you can see the lights. But yes, they are definitely appearing, disappearing, and then reappearing. And as I watched this, it struck me that I had just done a video on a very similar and very famous sighting. It happened over the Pacific Ocean and was actually recorded by the pilots of this airliner where we had multiple formations of these strings of lights appearing and then disappearing some 37, 38,000 feet in the sky, which you are seeing footage of here. And so it looks very similar. But as we go back to this sighting over Cincinnati, you can definitely see the similarities. They even say that there is another UFO up to the left in the corner of the footage. And you can go back and watch and see it. It's a light that may be possibly a part of this string of four lights. But something's going on, guys. These strings of lights are appearing more and more. But then again, so are these TR-3Bs, these triangular objects. Uh, objects of all shapes, these saucers with these creepy legs circling underneath. So the phenomenon is real, like I've said for almost 10 years now of running this channel, but 2022 is our year. The year of insomnia, the year of no sleep, the year of exposing only the best in UFO and alien related footage and information. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first video from me here in the new year. Subscribe, like, share. It really helps if you leave a comment and a like, and it tells the YouTube algorithm to share my videos to more people so we can get the message out. So do me that favor, throw me a like, share this video with your friends, get them interested in the topic. If you want to support the channel, head over to secureteamtees.com. A lot of cool merch over there. Check out Rise of the TR3B on iTunes, Amazon. The link is down below. And with that, guys, I've got a lot more coming. So stay tuned, stay safe, and it's good to be back in this new year. <laughs>